Leaks, whether big or small, do waste water. If you suspect you have a leak or your water bill has recently increased for no apparent reason, you may have a leak somewhere in your home or landscape. Put on your detective cap and track down the most common water wasters with these tips. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, many U.S. homes can waste, on average, more than 10,000 gallons of water to leaks each year. That's enough to fill a small swimming pool. Nationwide, household leaks can waste more than 1 trillion gallons of water annually. And that's enough to fill 40 million swimming pools and 24 billion baths. Closer to home, fixing your own leaks can make a big difference on your water bill while conserving our most precious resource. Common sources of home leaks include worn toilet flappers, dripping faucets, and breaks or cracks in irrigation systems and other valves. Most can be relatively easy to fix. To help you get started, the SNWA offers a free indoor water audit and retrofit kit. With the kit, you can test the water efficiency of your home and upgrade some of your fixtures. Request the kit online or call SNWA's Conservation Helpline. The retrofit kit contains items that will help you save water indoors. It contains a flow test bag to test the water use on your fixtures and shower heads. It also contains one low flow shower head, bathroom faucet aerators, and a low flow kitchen fixture. There are also dye tabs to test your toilets for leaks. Believe it or not, the toilets in your home consume more water than your faucets and showers, especially older model toilets. If you have a leaky toilet, that's even more water down the drain. Most likely, the culprit is a worn toilet flapper. Most flappers do degrade after a few years, and because they can't seal tightly at that point, leaks occur. Luckily, flappers are inexpensive and easy to replace. To test your toilet for a leak, Use the leak detection dye tablets from the SNWA's Indoor Water Audit and Retrofit Kit. The water's color will change to blue if you have a leak. Now what about a leaky faucet? A faucet that drips at the rate of one drip per second can waste more than 3,000 gallons of water per year. That's enough water to take more than 180 showers. Leaky faucets can be fixed by checking faucet washers and gaskets for wear and replacing them if necessary. If you've determined you have leaks and find that repairs aren't enough to stop them, it might be time to replace your leaking fixtures. Look for the WaterSense label when you shop for new products to increase your home's efficiency. WaterSense labeled items are widely available at retailers, have been tested to perform at 20% higher water efficiency than average products, and provide measurable savings. Now that you've repaired detectable leaks, what about those that aren't visible to the naked eye? If you still suspect that there is a leak occurring, the first step would be to make sure that all of your appliances and water uses are turned off inside the home. Next, you would go outside and check your water meter. There is a small triangle or star-shaped indicator on the face of the meter. If it is moving, there is still water use occurring inside the home. Next, it would be a process of elimination. You would need to check individual fixtures and faucets to make sure that there is nothing leaking. After that, you would move on to outdoor water use and check for leaks in the landscape. Your irrigation system is susceptible to leaks and should be checked regularly. Systems are subject to frequent use and high temperatures in summer, along with an occasional freeze in winter. Both extremes, along with wear and tear, can lead to cracks and breaks in both pipes and drip lines, as well as broken sprinklers and emitters. To determine whether you have a leak, turn your irrigation clock to the manual setting and run each line or station on your system for one to two minutes. Next, look inside both sprinkler and drip valve boxes to ensure the valves aren't leaking. Then, walk through your landscape. A visual inspection should turn up obvious breaks. However, if you don't see the source of the leak but find soggy grass or puddles of water, you may have a larger problem, an underground leak. If you suspect that there is a leak outdoors, you will need to turn on each individual irrigation zone and check for water bubbling near the surface or water pooling. If you run through each zone and you do not find water leaking there, your next step would be to turn off your water source for the irrigation at the backflow preventer. 
That could indicate that there is a water leak between your meter and the house. And at that point, if you suspect there's an underground leak, you may want to consult a professional plumber. Tracking down a phantom leak isn't always easy, but the SNWA wants to help you. Visit SNWA.com for detailed information about finding and fixing leaks. You also can watch a free leak detection video and search for licensed WaterSmart contractors who've completed water efficiency training and can provide landscaping maintenance service and repairs. Use these tips to track down leaks at home and become water smart inside and out. You might just be surprised at how much water you conserve and how much money you save. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Christine Vaughn.